Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Troy Allen Goliath. Welcome to Trigger Time TV. One of the things that we see the most is when guys are going for the gun on the draw is they're having to deal with open space. So one thing that we're going to do to negate that open space is we're going to get an index on the frame of the gun with the inside of our arm here, right? So we've got both hands relaxed at our sides and we're going to put a little bit of uh, pressure on the gun with our forearm and we're going to move both arms at the same exact time. Two hands in motion at once is a little bit faster than just one. So we're going to come up and then we're going to slam down on the top of the frame of that gun. You'll notice that I'm applying energy down into the gun because we want to bounce that gun back up out of the holster, okay? We're going to come up, down, and then we're going to start to lift this gun out and up on target. What we don't want to do is we don't want to grab this gun quickly and aggressively and throw it up on target because what do we have at that point? We have momentum onto the target, all right? We see that very often where guys will be really quick out to the target like this and then they'll have load time on the target because they've got to stop this gun from bouncing around constantly. Okay, so we want to be able to bleed this energy into the target. So I've got an index on the frame just like this. I'm going to raise both hands in tandem. I'm going to come up, down, up, and then out onto the target. You're going to see me bleed a little bit of energy onto the target itself. All right, just like this. And I'm dropping that dot from 12 o'clock. Just like that. So it doesn't always mean the draw is not always fast and it's not always up close but the draw needs to be aggressive based on the size of our target, right? So if I'm at seven yards to a fairly large target, I can be pretty aggressive with it, just like this. Bang, all right? Now, if I'm at a distance or if I have a smaller target to deal with, then I have to bleed a little bit more energy onto the target so I don't end up with all that momentum moving my gun around at the end. And I'm gonna bleed all of that energy so I don't have to catch everything on target. Now, once we get the gun up in our sight plane, we need to start doing the things that are asked of us, right? We have to complete our grip. We've got to start prepping the trigger. We've got to get the gun onto the target in a controllable fashion, all right? So as soon as we marry with our two grips here, I'm gonna force this support hand grip to be very, very aggressive. I'm gonna push up into the trigger guard, bringing this gun up on target to where I have upward pressure into the gun itself. All right, so we'll go hot with this real quick. We'll do a couple of quicker draws and then we will do uh, some modulated draws to kind of show how we would do this at distance, all right? So going hot. All right, so we'll get this timer going because you have to have a timer, guys. Things that get measured can get improved, all right? You have to know where you're at. You have to know where you've come from and where you're going. All right, so this first shot, we're gonna go at about 70% to kind of show you this bleed out here on the end of the presentation. All right, that's at about 150. If I'm gonna to start to speed this up, then I, all I have to do is just compress that presentation there at the end where I'm on target, all right? Caught my jacket there. We're at 136, so all I did was just shorten that bleed potential there at the end. So now as we start to pick things up, I'm gonna maintain that same aggressive draw, bleeding the energy onto the target really consolidating that grip and the trigger prep there at the end when I come up on the target itself. All right, watch how aggressive we are in the bucket. All right, that brings it down to 112. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of start to bleed because instead of this A zone, the down zero to the chest, we're gonna go to a smaller target in the face. Watch the bleed of the presentation. All right, right there in the middle. That takes my time back to 145, but if I've got a smaller target, I've got to be a little bit more deliberate, a little bit more careful about what I'm doing on the target. All right, one last one, watch for the bleed. All right, same exact spot. We're there in 148. Guys, we have to control all of this energy on the target at some point. Let's do it inside of that expectation of my trigger grip, all of that stuff. Thanks for listening to me today. You don't get better on accident. Get out and get training. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Bravo Company Manufacturing. Bravo Company USA. Skinner Sight. 
Hornady. Navy Arms. Midland Arms. The Western Scrounger. ATAC Defense. ATN, American Technologies Network. And Tacticam.